we have a little bit more high definition for this time. A little more HD camera. We tried to like, you know, fix things up. And uh, yeah. Hello, Starcross Mage. What I miss? You're just I'm nothing. As a matter of fact, you just got here in time to get started on our tarot reading monthly. So every once a month, we I do a tarot reading session with people. And just to, just to have a good time with it. It's because it's part of our main shtick. Aside from like art and tarot reading and astrology, all that stuff. Yeah, thank you. I love I love this cloth so much. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm becoming a true tarot reader. Yes. Okay, so let me go ahead and change this up here before we get started. And uh, we set up some good stuff here. All right, so yeah. Everybody's excited. I see the D12S. How much psychic damage do I take for this? Yes. No kidding. <laughs> a deck of many things. So this time we're gonna do something a little bit more a little bit more simple. So instead of doing both, I'm going to do either the deck or the dice. So you guys have the option of doing either like your readings on, on the cards. Or we can go over with just the three dice and we can still like, you know, talk about it. I'll do my best as much as I can because I, I recently got a new desk and um, I'm trying to get used to like the new things. So yeah. But yeah, that being said, uh, why don't we get started just a sec. I'm just gonna get some stuff real quick. Uh, there we go. Okay, so. We are going to go ahead and get our cues. So remember the rules are simple. Um, if you want for a tarot reading session, make sure you use our join command and I will pick like the next person uh, to do a reading and all that. Um, mods will do their best they can to keep track of the queue. So far in the list, it is um, Dom is first, followed by Zellerin. And then Laurel and Starcross Mage. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first person, of course, Dom will be the first. Oh, okay. So just so you know, um, Dom, it is time for you to shine. So you are starting off with either the cards or the dice. It has to be one this time. Ba, ba, ba. I just put in some astrological dice in my Amazon cart. Nice! They're really fun to use and they're pretty simple too as well. I think you'll enjoy them a lot, especially if you enjoy tarot reading. But yeah, as we wait for Dom to decide, I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle just in case. So as we got, and as far as I put on some new like tarot reading mixture, mix music, um, by the way, um, if you are in the Discord server, feel free to share some like music recommendations, especially for tarot reading. I'm trying to make like a nice little playlist, a uh, nice little like, you know, relaxing and some calm music for everybody to do. All right. You want to know my reading with how people see me and how it may affect me? Do you want cards or dice, Dom? I can choose. Um, I would recommend you to choose because usually, um, it'd be it's a lot easier for people to like you know choose their choose their stuff. Um, but yeah, cards perfect. All right, so Dom wants to know basically how people will see me and how it affects him. So okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with something interesting. Yeah, exactly. Your fortune, your choice. So you have to be sure to uh, decide your fate. Only you can change your future. All right. So let's go ahead and do, let's do, let's start off with something good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let's move this aside. 
and we are going to do this. Oh, it looks like two cards decided to pop out. Well, three cards decided to pop out. Hello. <laughs> All right. So we have that, that, and we got this, 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 and last but not least, some of this. All right. So Don wants to know all of his stuff. So let us get started. Um, one and two together. So it looks like we have some going on. Left is positive, right is negative. So it looks like we have three of heart, three of swords, as well as a downside queen of wands. So right now, um, you may have there's some bit of like you know. Maybe there's a bit of stress and hesitation going on, or maybe um, you're usually the Three of Swords represents some like heartbroken, or maybe there's some like uh, trouble in paradise. So there's a good chance that maybe not always heartbroken, but rather it's more like you're stressed out with the with socializing, and you're just fearing, or maybe. You're afraid that maybe something has been said or done wrong for you alongside with the uh, queen of wands um, usually the when it comes to wands you're basically thinking like uh, wands are fire elements which is like mostly creativity so maybe something happened with um, what you're do what you're doing like maybe your workspace is um, giving you some stress and you're worried that maybe you're not doing as much lately um, the, of what you maybe you're not meeting your expectations your your uh, your goals for the month so maybe you're a little bit stuck on where you are so number three um, let's see three is an upright hierophant so the hierophant is an upward hierophant, a major arcana, um, represents, uh, let me go ahead and, it represents like uh, some spiritual wisdom, people will listen to you, um, they are more understanding of what you'll do, and the hierophant is a major arcana, um, so your words might either inspire or worry uh, people because maybe they're not very sure when um, when things will get better or maybe there's some advice going on. Um, maybe you're just worried that your advice is leading people to leading people astray or you're just wondering if it's not uh, going as according to plan. Um, and then the third the fourth card is a queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is related to finances. Um, there is some wealth and business going on. So um, it looks like so far uh, it's telling you not to worry about the what ifs. Um, don't be afraid to make some steps in your career or in your relationships um, because it may give you some good fortune. It can. You may have some good luck coming up in just a, in a, maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a few months. Um, and Pentacles is usually known to be very slow, so it's going to take some time to get used to. And the fifth card on the top, you've got a Lover's Major Arcana. Nice! So, um, the Lover's Arcana is obviously related to love, harmony, soulmates let me go ahead and put it closer here hopefully you guys can see okay so love so it looks like there's gonna be some good relationships coming soon um you're gonna have uh you're gonna have some good for good friendships and relationships you're gonna maintain them um so it may be one of those downtime moments but uh in a couple of weeks you might have you might bounce back up again and people will see you as many things and last but not least, um, last but not least, you have a downwards three of pentacles. So three of pentacles usually represents um, some teamwork and a little bit of like, you know, sharing with one another. But it looks like an, a downwards, uh, 
you may have you may have some setbacks, but take some, take things one step at a time, and you will develop some growth. <laughs> but yeah, um, so how people see you, Dom? Um, how it will affect you? So there are some things that uh, you may experience that will give you some setbacks, but I think people will see you in some with good fortune and you have yeah i think you can ha you'll have like a a good uh worksmanship coming up so yeah um uh, that is pretty much dom's reading um and i did notice uh, some people like how you haven't seen the spread before um it's actually no it's actually known for a lot of terror readers it's known as the celtic spread which a lot of readers uh use but yeah, um, hopefully that helps you out, Dom. Or if that gives you like some kind of idea. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, ba, ba, ba. The best advice right now, basically, all in all, is like, don't worry too much of what's happening right now. Just focus on stuff one thing and one step at a time. Would help us my workspace is getting back to normal pre-pandemic last year and replacing some stuff. Yeah, yeah! I'm trying to maintain a good relation with friends. Yeah, it's it's sometimes hard to uh, balance out, like, your work and relationships. But, um, I think with some- I think with diligence and dedication, it's not too bad. Yay, I'm glad that helped you! Also, hi, Irie. I see you. <laughs> Hope you are having a pleasant evening. And I see you with that Kappa face star cross mage. What you looking at, huh? Thank you for the host, Irie. Appreciate it. <laughs> get inoculated so you can hug them again. See? You get where it's at. Nerdy drunken monkey goblin. Thank you so much for the follow. Tonight your star is crossed upon our astrological house. So, the next person will be Zillerin. <laughs> no, they're not related. It's so funny how people- It's so funny how that worked out. <laughs> so, Zillerin, you are next. So, uh, do you want cards or do you want a dice reading? <laughs> no relation, nope. Or maybe they're our long lost cousin. <gasps> Cards? Okay, not a problem. So what is the best step for me to take in the month ahead as I transition out of a challenging season of my life? Ooh, that's an actually that's an interesting one. Alright, so uh my second reader on YouTube doesn't use this spread that much. Um there's a lot of spreads to use. Uh, in all seriousness, like there's the basic three spread. Uh, some people use the Celtic spread. There's there's plenty of spreads out there that people create. I would love to create my own spread at some point, and I think it'd be I think it'd be fun, honestly. Yeah, Star Mage. <laughs> they are the Star Mage, and they come every once a month. <gasps> no <I'm> kidding. <laughs> Unless that's true! <gasps> yeah, um, anything more than a three spread is you- it usually takes a little more time. Which is why, like, three spreads is usually a good default. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you, Zellerin, I shall give you a past, present, and future. I think that'll be a good start for you. All right, so. Sometimes whenever I do spreads, uh, some like shuffling, um, mostly the cards, sometimes the cards literally bounce out, like just right now. <laughs> this one literally just almost bounced out of my hand. It's like they're almost alive and I think that's like pretty neat. <laughs> All right, so. So let's go ahead and get that started. Oh, this one popped out too. All right. 
So let me go ahead and put this a little bit closer just so you guys can see nicely. All right, and one card reading is, pre is pretty good, like mostly for like a daily routine. Like do it like, like once a morning, hey, what's, my, what's gonna happen to me today? And then draw this card. That's usually pretty good. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna look at Zellerin's past, present, and future. And they're asking, what is the best step for me to take in the month ahead as I transition out of a challenging season of my life? All right, so let's look at the past, shall we? So the past is um, reversed Knight of Pentacles. So knights usually represent, um, they're very chivalrous, they're very like courteous, they are, they are very determined to meet their goals and they're very driven. And it look, but it looks like in the past there might be um, some tr some troubles in terms of finances. Maybe there's a bit of halt going on with your uh, maybe with your job, or maybe there's some like a, maybe you're taking a hiatus in a project or something like that. Um, something is holding you back because. Um, you're trying to scrunch up as much funds as possible, or maybe not even funds. Maybe it's something related to like materials, like maybe something happened with your materials. Um, but yeah, it looks like in the past something might be going on. Let's see what the present is right now. Okay, so you've got an up, uh, right now you've got an upper page of pentacles. So pentacles, um, usually the page, they're a little bit wise and they usually think so they're thinking of money they are uh, thinking of how to how to manage uh their next step their growth um trying to determine what's next in their goals and they're they're, they're just thinking more wisely um with their with their workspace or maybe you're looking for work um maybe you're taking like the next step in your workspace and then your future the future right here is the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords, it looks like um, Seven of Swords usually represent like taking and stealing opportunities. Um, it's not always a bad thing. However, it looks like this person is like feeling a little nervous with themselves. Maybe what it's like, it's more like what if they end up... <laughs> Thank you so much, Starcross Mage, for the sub. I appreciate you. A, because you put up with me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But yeah, um, it looks like you're a little bit worried in the future whether the steps you're taking right now might give you a setback or whether it gives you a setback or if it's gonna, you know, work out for the better. Um, sometimes the best thing to do is just take that leap of faith and whatever happens, like try to think, take things one step at a time. Um, Seven of Swords is not always a bad thing. Like um, usually when I see the Seven of Swords, I feel like the person is more hesitating or they're a little nervous of like taking advantage of like opportunities or maybe their goals. They're just, they're just, they're just afraid basically. Um, that it's gonna set them back and I think that's the be the worst that's the worst thing you can think of right now because if you can't make those st if you can't make that next step if you're worried about it how are you gonna how are you gonna be able to how are you gonna be able to you know succeed without failing and I think that's just the best thing we can do like just if you think the next step might give you some good might give you some good advantages then take it Take the take event take the take the best of it and just go for it. If the, if it doesn't turn out well, then that's that's fine. You can you know you know that it doesn't work out. You can just take take the next step and just uh, work upon it. And most importantly, you've already had that past experience, so you might be able to learn from that past experience and and use that as a le as a life lesson. Because right now, um, with things opening up again, you can you might be able to like get some work or maybe more hours, or you might be able to come out of hiatus or or 
maybe you might finally just, you know, come out of that shell and just, you know, go for it. But yeah, um, I hope that helps out. Um, if you have any questions, please ask away. I, I, I really don't mind expanding further. Like, don't hesitate if you're unsure of what you meant, of what I'm talking, of what I meant. But yeah, um, just go for it. Ba ba ba. Hopefully that helps out. Uh, heads up to Laurel, you are going to be next very soon, so please get ready. <laughs> First card jumped out for my reason. Uh, kind of spot on, but comforting to know. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad I gave you some idea. Don't worry, you got- I got you in, Irie. No, that's what Nehru was saying. Um, that we can't- that we can't do both. I did say clear, it's either one or. But yeah, I'm glad- I'm glad I helped- I got to give you some idea, uh, Zellerin. <laughs> Yeah, Nehru, Nehru's trying to help out. <laughs> Other than that, um, I'll go ahead and switch over to the next one. And it looks like I got Laurel's idea. But yeah, Laurel, um, it has to be one this time, just so we can give everybody else a chance. Especially if people, more people are going to be joining in the next hour or so. But yeah, um... All right, so, cards, perfect. And I got your question here. How will my birth boyfriend's birthday come out tomorrow? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm gonna do an interesting spread. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, this one came out. All right, I'm gonna see what I can do. Well, let's do a simple three spread actually. It might be better to do a three spread because of what will happen. All right, so let's do something interesting. I'm gonna do a three spread and we're gonna be telling a story on the birthday. Oh, this one came out as well. This one popped out. Star Wars Day, nice. Oh yeah! <laughs> May the 4th be with you tomorrow! I forgot- I almost forgot about that, actually. That's gonna be fun. Oh, this one came out too! Oh, cards are alive tonight! Alright. So, we got- We got Laurel's cards coming up. We're gonna be telling that story, um, this time with cards. Um, she is wondering how her boyfriend's birthday will go tomorrow. So let's get started. So, let's tell the first story. Alright. It looks like Two of Wands upright. And what's happening is that, um, like I said, wands usually represent growth, creativity, ambition. So it looks like they are looking at the orb. They're looking out. Um, wondering what the next step is. So it looks like he, it looks like your boyfriend might be thinking about his career and his future, what he can do, um, you know, in order to like get better at his like, uh, at his skills that he's endure that he's developing right now, or maybe he has developed and he's trying to like, you know, see what he can find, um, to uh, to improve even to to improve even more, like maybe he's thinking about um, a uh, a better job or a better opportunity in general, um, a promotion maybe, and or maybe he's like uh, trying to build something, and he's just trying to figure out 
um, how to start, where to start off, how to build it, what he can do. So the next card is, it looks like it is a down, it is a reversed Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles usually represents like, you know, sharing and, um, you know, um, sharing and try, trying to help out people, one another. Um, however, because it is uh, in reverse, um, he if he's not careful, he might experience people either taking advantage of him or maybe there's going to be some uh, money sunk into his like uh, sunk into his career. Like maybe, for example, like maybe he'll buy like a couple of uh, a couple of programs or um, some stuff, something like that, or maybe like. Uh, people are taking advantage of uh, his finances because maybe he's tr he's trying to save, but he doesn't want. He's, it sounds like he doesn't want to say no, and right now it's kind of giving him that grasp, and it's just a matter of like how to get out of that grasp. Um, saying no is not easy, but sometimes in certain situations, especially if it's affecting you. Sometimes you just got to say no and just let go. And you got to show them, you got to show people that you're not always going to be there. And now the last card is a reversal three of wands. Another creativity that's going down. So it looks like you're wonder. It's like, once again, the person is like wondering out there. They're a little lost. Um... So it looks like right now he um, he's trying to think about how to like get out of the step of being like you know of taking event of his kindness being taken advantage or how to like save as much as possible or as well as his time uh, to develop his career and his future. So the best advice is like I said. Um, Try to exercise in saying no to certain things and just uh, focus on yourself. Otherwise, especially when you're at the peak of your career, your moment in this time of age, especially nowadays with since everything is opening up uh, slowly but surely and people are uh, coming out uh, to focus on their lives again and Money is very important. Money is very important right now, especially now because uh, everyone is still like you know stuck inside and having and are struggling to find work. So yeah, the best thing to do for your boyfriend is not only to celebrate his special day, but also think about the benefits. What's best for him? Focus on himself. Focus on your his future. Um. And once he's in, like, you know, in a in a much better position, then maybe he can help out here and there. But right now, um, being taken advantage of is not a good not a good st a strategy right now. But yeah, um, the best advice is just exercise in saying no. And of course, obviously, you're always going to be there for him. You're just, you're going to think what's best for him. So, do what you gotta do. Hopefully that um, gives some insight. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, let me know if the music's a little too loud, because, yeah. <laughs> ba 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 other than that, it's perfect. Awesome. I'm glad you, I'm glad to appreciate it. There's music. Yeah, there is music on right now. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting me know the music's good. I appreciate it. I'm trying some new things and trying to give some interesting stuff. So, um, uh, how funny that you are, com that you are speaking Starcraft Mage because it is your turn to get a reading. You have a choice of either cards or dice. It's a streaming quiet? Okay. Um, 
Let me go ahead and turn it up a little. Alright, hopefully it's a little better. <laughs> Cards and then I've rolled enough dice tonight. That's fair. <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully it's a little better. Mr. D&D &D man. Alright, so what is your question, Starcross Mage? I mean, to be fair, it would be fun to do, like, a D&D &D stream. I know John would love to do a D&D &D session. Alright. But yeah, um, that is another good point, Laurel. Um, if there are, if, if you enjoy your readings, especially if it's towards someone else, feel free to highlight or clip it. It's it would be highly appreciated. Da, ba, ba. All right. Did I make a smart investment? Ooh, a work-related question. Financial way, that's gonna be interesting. All right, so we're gonna do a similar thing as we did the last uh, reading. We're gonna do a three spread and we're gonna get started on Starcross Mage. All right, let's do this. All right, we got this one jumping out a little. Alright, we got Leia, number two. Am I getting number two? Oh, ah, this one came out nice and clear. There's that. And another one that's jumping out at the same time. So yeah, we got three. So we're gonna do some nice little... You know what? I'm gonna try something interesting. I'm gonna do a simple... I'm gonna do a simple star-shaped. This is gonna be my star-shaped uh, reading. So let's do it. There's gonna be, it's basically a simple cross, but let's do a star-shaped. Oh, this one is popping out like normal. <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. So this is gonna be Starcross Mage's reading and he is asking, did he make a smart investment? So let's go ahead and dig in. So the middle side is a page of swords reversed. So it, when it comes to the page of swords, it looks he is looking at opportunities. He is going swift. Um, it's going quickly, but it looks like um, some something went down. Something went a little down according to plan. And, a, and at a little fast pace as well. Um, maybe something just recently happened um, in terms of like uh, some a little bit of business, a little bit of growth. That's a little, uh, things are going not according to plan so far, but that's just the star. Let's see how far we can go. Cause that's just the star. Usually Page of Swords, um, something's not going, something's not going as well. <laughs> The investment was impulsive. Oh, okay. That could be it. All right. Right now, uh oh, reverse emperor. So the reverse emperor. Um, usually the emperor is like you know business savvy, justified, um, very confident. But it looks, but because it's reverse, um, it's definitely a little bit of unconfidence. Um, a little bit, a little bit of selfishness going on. Um, so it definitely sounds like an impulse buy uh, is, is affecting your finances a little bit. But let's see how far we can go. This is just the beginning. Let's see how far we can go. It's not the end. All right. Queen of Wands upright. So the Queen of Wands upright. Um, usually the Queen is a little more like you know growth. Uh, fertility, a little bit smart and savvy. So it looks like so far at 
first. Um, it's a bit of an impulse buy. Maybe it's a little bit, you know, a little too. Uh, you might, you might, you might feel a little bit of regret, or you might feel like a YOLO moment. But who knows? Maybe, maybe some good will come out of it. Kali, thank you so much for the follow. Your stars crossed upon our astrological house tonight. But yeah, um, the Queen of Wands. Maybe, maybe there's some good that will come out of it. Maybe. Maybe there's something, because sometimes, especially when it comes to artists, uh, people will make like a, even a tiny mistake, like a little blob in their work, and they're feeling like, oh no, I can't fix this, I can't control F. Um, but maybe, maybe that mistake can transform into something even better, like maybe it'll transform into a, like an even more beautiful piece of art. Like maybe... Maybe you might have you might hit inspiration into something. All right, so the next one is Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles um, represents uh, a little bit of like fertility. Um, you're feeling a little. There's some growth that you have created. You're feeling a little bit uh, fortunate. You're feeling wealthy. And um, it's a, it's not exactly celebratory, but it's definitely a, fe a feeling of relief, like a little bit of relief, a little bit of like you know, like nice. You're you're basically where you want to be, and maybe maybe sometimes making impulsive buys will make you feel better. Um, sometimes what you like to do, maybe it'll improve um, your. Maybe what whatever you're inspired to do, maybe it'll give you some inspiration to work on something even bigger, or maybe there's like an opportunity coming soon for you. And last but not least, on the let me move this up a little so you can see the bottom cards here. The bottom one, last but not least, is a downwards Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is a little bit interesting. <laughs> Interesting, a downwards queen of pentacles. Um, she was looking longly, longly at um, at the at the uh, pentacle itself, but it looks like there's some hesitation once again. So what it's you're basically telling me, YOLO. <laughs> you're telling me YOLO basically. Like you you bought something, you're happy with it. Um, it may affect it may affect your finance it may affect your finances a little later on, um, but as long as you're happy with what you got, then happiness is what matters right now, especially now of all times. Um, whereas uh, we're just we're trying to like you know get over um, get over the Backstreet Boys concert tour, and. We're just, you know, trying to normalize our lives. And sometimes we just need at least a little bit of happiness going on right now. Um, but yeah, um, best advice to do is like, there's nothing wrong with an impulse buy every now and then. Just don't take too, just don't take too much advantage of it. Otherwise, you're going to be going through a bit of a rut later on. Especially when it comes to the swords. Because swords are pretty quick. And it'll affect you in the next few days, mostly. <laughs> so a little lesson is like the so anytime you see a swords card, it's gonna happen in the fastest in the fastest route possible. So it could happen in a few days, mostly. While as the slowest is pentacles, the slowest is pentacles because you're basically growing money or create making money. If you guys get what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, um. Like I said, nothing wrong with impulse buying. Um, just don't do too much of it. Especially if you need to save up for something important like bills or like... <laughs> bills, getting some equipment, uh, whichever important thing that's needed or groceries. Also, thank you for the hydrate, uh, Callie. In other words, don't you buy any more of those dices. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that helps you out, uh, Star Mage. <laughs> did I actually did I actually get it right? <laughs> did, were you actually buying dices? Oh, it was a friend. <laughs> 
Bruh! <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be in for debt for a bit, probably. <laughs> I... And me getting out of a series of buying used cars? I hope you don't have too much of a debt, is all I can say. Especially with these freaking pentacles going down. <laughs> But yeah, buying a new car sweats. <laughs> Not that I can blame you. I can afford it as a result of buying a new car. My insurance rate dropped, which is great. Okay, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. <laughs> and it also raised my credit because my old car got paid off as a result as well. That's good. That's good to hear. So yeah, like I said, like maybe maybe there's some good that came out of it. Like I said, with the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands, um, when it comes to the Queen, they're very savvy, they're very businesslike, um, but they're also like you know a little down to earth. They understand the ups and downs of it. So honestly, I think the Queen of Wands best describes you. If I were to choose, like, one car spread, this would probably be the best one that describes you right now. And also this is what- and this too. So this also could represent, like, your credit score. But yeah, um... Hopefully it gave- hopefully it gave a, uh, some insight and some ideas. Um... The inverted emperor, totally. <laughs> hey, like I said, impulse buy is not always a bad thing. Especially if it'll help in the long run. Yeah. I think you did as well. I think you did, right? I think you made the right decision. Because having a good credit is obviously a good thing. <laughs> You did weeks of research? Guy, nice. That is awesome. But yeah, that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> I researched for like three weeks before I bought my new mic and mixer. I'm still doing some research on like microphones and as well as like a mixer. Like John and I would like to get like some audio equipment at some point. Hey, it's Eventide Shine! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, welcome, raiders! My name is Jazz. I am one half of Starcross, and we are doing Tarot Reading Monthly! Which is a big thing that this channel does every once a month. Alongside with John doing some occasional art here and there. I hope you had a good stream with Pac-Man 99. I know you were doing quite a bit of it. <laughs> and I got a John appears. So I guess we'll get a John appears as I'm calling Cadron onto the onto the aisle. But yeah, um, if you guys want a tarot reading, if you haven't gotten a chance to meet yet, make sure you take advantage of the join command. Hello, Wes. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's John. Oh, and awesome. Thank you, Neru, for uh, for informing everybody. Thank you, thank you, Neru. You are appreciated. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's enjoying their uh, uh, tarot reading so far. Yeah, yeah! I'm gonna go ahead and change the song because we've been in this one for a while. There we go. Hello, hello! I hope you had a good stream. Nera is best mod. Let's see, John Hands? Alright, here you go. John Hands! John, get out of here! Okay. <laughs> That's my appears. I appeared. Now I disappear. Thanks. Alright, Cadron, you're next. <laughs> I'm ready for you. You say you wanted to be. You say you wanted to be sure you're. You say you're curious of drawing another pentacles. Let's see what you want. Dice or cards? What you got, Cadron? Where's Cadron? <laughs> I know he's lurking. Ba 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 ba. <sighs> Let's do John hands. <laughs> The himbo, John. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're... Um, I believe Moon Cell was next. Okay, there's Cajun. <laughs> oh my god. I'm watching my friend. He's certainly struggling. He decided to return to school and complete his bachelor's. Says he doesn't feel motivated to go, so I wanted to get a reading on him of what his rest of his year looks like. Ooh. That's a big one. I'm guessing... Do you want to do cards or dice, Kadron? I gotta have the either or. No me. I gotta do either or. Cards? Alright. Cool. A heads up to Moon Cell. You are next, followed by Irie. Alright. So. We are gonna go ahead and get a past, present, and future. I think that'll be a good, I think that'll be a good start. All right, let's do this. Oh. Uh, how many cards came out of that, actually? One card, actually. So that one popped out for Cajun. All right. All right. The real question is, is Cajun going to draw another pentacles in <laughs> three months in a row? All right, so I'm gonna do this one here. And last but not least, you're going to do this one. All right, so Kadrian is doing something for a friend. All right, so we're gonna go over the past, present, and future. So let's see what the past is. Let's look at the past, shall we? Whether when it comes to school. In the past, it is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups represents emotions, communication. It is, um, when it comes to water element, uh, usually that represents emotion. Um, he is watching, feel free to address him. All right, so this is to Cadron's friend. So. Nine of Cups, in the past, you're a little bit, uh, you're, he's like sitting down, he's got a lot of things in his, and you you got a lot of things in your mind right now, and you're just like, you know, you're a little bit like thinking, you're wondering on what to do, what to do to take the next step in your life, and you're trying, you're trying to find a, you're basically looking for a reason why um, you want to return to school. So instead of like st uh, struggles, you're more like wondering if it's worth it or not. And at present, right now, it is the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles, um, wow, Cajun, <laughs> Pentacles thing. <laughs> you and Pentacles, I swear to God. But yeah, um, the Eight of Pentacles uh, usually represents craftsmanship. You are working on something, you're trying to build up, you're trying to build yourself up, but it looks like you're, looks like right here, this little guy fella is missing something that could be like, uh, bigger riches and opportunities. So, as you're like, for example, as you're like, maybe you're, maybe you're currently working right now, and, um, maybe you're making, you're trying to make some finances going on right now, but... There's something that's, it feels like you can go further um, by, you know, improve, like improving your skill set or getting like uh, your certifications as well, or even your bachelor's for that matter. Um, so if you, you can keep working, but so far in the present, it's, it's basically telling you that um, you absolutely should uh, consider uh, consider finishing your communications because there's going to be plenty of oppor there's going to be a lot more opportunities that will open up for you especially since this little pinnacle is right here that could be the missing piece of of something like maybe you can build yourself more and last but not least the future you got a death arcana nice so don't panic first of all um if any of you ever see, like, the Death Arcana, this does not mean you're actually gonna die. That does not, is not what it means at all. 
the death arcana in fact is a great cho a great card to draw especially in the future so it looks like um in the future you're gonna end up um letting go of your hesitations and you're about to create a new chapter for yourself so maybe this time um at some point later on or soon um you might see that um you're not making enough you're not building yourself enough and eventually you're going to decide that maybe i should just maybe i should give it a chance maybe i should uh complete the bachelor's degree in especially in communications because i feel like i'm going to earn a lot more better opportunities especially with everything opening up soon and with the downtime that we have right now i should take advantage of this complete my complete my degree and especially when everything opens up again um there's gonna there's gonna be a huge there's gonna be a wide open doors wide open doors of opportunities coming at me that's what i'm that's what i'm insinuating right now with you um so it looks like like i said right now you're trying to save you're trying to save as much as you can but you're just missing something and the degree is what you're missing right now and you're gonna come to that realization that maybe it's best to go for that right now and there are also people that will support you as to support you and give you like, you know, the right steps, the right ideas, and they're going to cheer you on. Like you have so many people, I imagine that will that will cheer for you, that are going to that are going to meet you at that finish line. So, yeah, the biggest the biggest answer is go for it. Like definitely definitely take take advantage of this opportunity now. Um, especially while it's still there. Because if you don't, um, there may not be another chance in a, in a once in a lifetime thing. You may end up like hesitating for the rest of your life. And that's never a good feeling, honestly. Like you should never feel like you're hesitating. And I know change or like making big steps can be really, really scary. But um, sometimes we have to make that step in order to evolve ourselves. But yeah, um, that's that's pretty much it right there. Like, I think that's a really good draw, especially with this card going on right now. But yeah, um, hopefully that helps out. Yay, I'm glad that helped. But yeah, I really like the Death Arcana because it's like it's like the end of one chapter and a beginning of a new one. Like, it's like, take the newest, like, take the newest opportunities right now. I think I drew a death card on myself once before. But yeah, um, next person is Mooncell, followed by Irie. Alright, so, Mooncell, do you want cards or dice? Uh, friendly reminder, um... Those of you who haven't gotten the chance yet, or if you are lurking, you have the free opportunity uh, to use the join command. Um, especially since uh, we are going to be doing this for a little while. Ba, 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 ba. There are plenty of opportunities, there are plenty of moments that we can do. I know Mooncell is always patiently waiting. There we go. Hey, Taro! I'm kidding, Taro. <laughs> hey, well, seriously though, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you can join tonight. Hope you're having a pleasant evening. All right, so you're using cards. <laughs> big love, big love to Taro. She is incredible. It's 5 a.m. and I can't sleep due to paying. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Please get well soon. I don't want I don't want you in pain. 
But yeah, um, if you guys enjoy astrology and tarot reading, definitely check out Tarot 19. She is she is incredible. Uh, she is also in, she is a mental health advocate. She is a wonderful person, and you should absolutely check her out. She also does um, occasional astrology streams. Thank you, thank you for the shout out. Also, she may quiz some of you guys on astrology at some point, so be sure to pay attention to this stream. <laughs> I am starting a small business with my aunt. I wanted this business to work. I can't get motivated. Okay, so we are working on a business reading. Okay. All right, so we're going to do something interesting here. Yeah, I know you love the pop quizzes. <laughs> Whether or not I should continue. All right. Let's see. We are going to do... We're going to do... Let's see. We're going to do another three spread. We're going to be telling a story of Mooncell. Well, all right. We got this one here. All right, so next step is here. Sometimes the cards jump and it's like, stop jumping, please. I know you're excited. <laughs> All right, so, oh, this one is coming out of here like crazy. Ah, come on, come on, come on, no need to be shy. All right, I'm surprised you never quiz her. She did do her, on her debut stream, she did do a uh, an astrology quiz for everybody. It was still hilarious to see her reactions. <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely keep a lookout for whenever she does those kinds of stream moments. <laughs> but yeah, um... Yeah, that I noticed. I hope, I hope work's been treating you well. But yeah, let's look at Mooncell. Let's see, right now, it looks like Three of Cups in Reversed. So, the Three of Cups, once again, Cups usually represents emotions, and usually it represents um, celebratory, some communication. But right now, it looks like, um, it looks like some downsides going on right now. Um, maybe there's some, uh, not enough communication going on and as you want as you get started with the small business um you're just not sure if you are like you know if you're assisting or if you are like you know if you're helping out so you're just basically wondering uh what's going on right now so if it's like the right decision that will help you and then the next one is ooh. Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, Nine of Wands usually... It's not always a bad thing, however. Um, the Nine of Wands, when it comes to Wands, uh, usually represents some creativity going on. Um, this one is usually a little weary. A little bit like, uh, you know, try, trying to be like a, l a little hesitant, being wary, being very careful. Um, but usually when it comes to reversed, um, maybe... Maybe there's a bit of like, even a little bit more worry, or maybe not. Maybe not more. Maybe not all the big worry. Maybe there's something out there that uh, that you're looking at, or maybe there's or there's something that uh, you're looking at something, but you're not sure if it's uh, if it's going to be the right step yet. Last but not least, ooh, lots of reversals. All right. So, five of pentacles in reverse. Um, five of pentacles is when it comes to upright, especially you're a little lost. You, it's usually upright. It's usually represents like you're a little lost, uh, and you're. It usually represents like you know, wondering if the money's gonna come. But because it's in reverse, um, maybe it's not. Maybe there's. Maybe you won't be lost entirely. Um, so it looks like because all of these cards are slow um the best thing i can say is like uh 
uh, take the time, take one, take things slowly but surely, one step at a time. Because obviously, when it comes to growing a business, um, it's gonna take a long time to build up, and you want to be sure, like. Uh, you're taking those right steps. So maybe it's not gonna go off, uh, it's not gonna go off right away. Um, it's gonna be taking some time and some money might, some money might go down the drain as, well, most business goes. Um, and I think it's, it's gonna take time, but usually small businesses, uh, come out, of, come out to success or if, uh, Otherwise, if it doesn't work out, um, there's nothing wrong with having a safety net, like a backup. And try to, like, you know, get a backup plan just to be on the safe side. Because we all, realistically speaking, not all plans go out, turn out well. So there's, there's nothing wrong with having a plan B. And I'm pretty sure your aunt has a plan B in case this doesn't work out. Or if they have to, if she has to, like take a step back and try to like find another plan uh to go off into a successful business but yeah um not th i'm not saying it's not going to be successful but just don't expect to have like a first step of success right away um take it take things one step at a time and just you know keep an eye out uh for the grand opportunities that will come soon. Uh, advertise, obviously. And yeah, it's it'll take some time. I can't say whether or not it will come off right away, but with the right steps and the right opportunities, I think it'll go off surely but slowly. So. But yeah, um, the best opportunity is uh, come up with a plan B. That way, if things don't work out, you have you have a safety net, and your aunt will have a safety net as well. There's absolutely nothing wrong with having a plan B. Like, for me, example, like, I have a plan B in case, like, if I want to do tarot reading in the future, like, you know, for, like, professional, com or, like, do a reading for business, um, if things don't work out according to plan, then I have, like, a, I have, like, a backup plan, like, a job opportunity that will support me. I do feel lost. My aunt kind of spring on me. Yeah, um, being spring on when it comes to business, it's always going to catch you off guard, but... Um, depending on the situation, it may or may not be a bad thing for that matter. Mostly because you're, you'd be getting like some experience and will develop for your resume. Or possibly if you're, uh, if you're a student and you're trying to like, you know, develop some skills, it might, I think it'll help at least give it some experience. Like say, hey, I did this and that. Like, I did a bit of, like, graphic design, um, and I put, and I have that on my resume, on, like, uh, you know, helping out design, like, signs, uh, small shops, as well as, like, I did some, like, kinda acting when it comes to announcements on some, sh on some shops, so there's some of that, at least. But yeah, at the very least, like, whether it turns out well or not, you'll still have experience, and that's what's important for, like, getting uh, like getting work in general or like developing your skills but yeah uh hopefully that helps out uh moon Sal. or if you have any questions like feel free to like you know ask a little further more there's absolutely nothing wrong with asking yeah i see you squishy I see you squishing, Irie. <laughs> You're coming up next. You got this, Moon Cell. I believe in you, and I'm sh and I know the chat believes in you too. We're all here for you. Give Moon Cell a hug and some love, please.
I'm glad I lifted your mood, Dom. I'm so happy. <laughs> but yeah, Irie is next, followed by Taro. Alright, Irie, what you got? It's your opportunity. <laughs> What are dice readings? Um, dice readings usually, um, asks, like, uh, who you, like, there's basically three dice type of dice. So, the purple dice, uh, where you see all the numbers, they represent your, uh, your houses. So, when it comes to the astrological houses, uh, this one tells you where you are. Um, the zodiac signs, as you can see with that one, the next one is the zodiac signs. Um... It asks the how you're doing or uh, how you're how you're putting up with life or something like that. And last but not least, the planets here uh, represents who you are. There are two nodes. Uh, one is like the moon of the uh, the north moon node of the moon and the south node of the moon. Um, what they uh, what they basically tell you is like uh, it basically gives you an idea of like what you're doing. Um, as well as like if there's anything uh, it's 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 really a basic reading honestly and i think it's really fun i would recommend those that's fine but yeah that's a that's a good lesson for those who are into like the the dice they're pretty basic reading honestly all right you want cards what's your question not a problem moon cell But yeah, if, if any of you are huge fans of, like, you know, are curious to try them out, definitely give them a shot. They're really simple to do. And plus, they're cool to have. <laughs> Ooh, Twitch partner, nice. That'll be a good one. I think Tara was also working on Push to Partner as well. John and I would love to push for partner, but I guess we're there, I guess there's still plenty of time and opportunities for us to like you know develop ourselves. Our community is slowly growing slowly but surely, but we both feel like we can you know put ourselves out there a little more and we can do better. So we know our ups and downs mostly. It's just a matter of how we take that step. All right, so. I'm gonna give you a. Let's give you a past, present, and future. I think that'll be a good one. Oh, we got one. Is it possible to do one uh, another reading? It has to be one per person. Um, especially if new people are coming in, I'm trying to give as much chance as possible. But we will see. Alright, so. Yeah, if, if they want to go in, they can go definitely go into the stream themselves and they can absolutely join the queue. You gonna turn in for tonight? Alright, Don. Well, thank you so much for joining and I hope you have a good night. Alright, so it looks like... That one is coming in. All right, so. All right. So we're looking at Irie, if she can hit partner in mid-July. Critical Raycon, thank you so much for the follow. Tonight your stars crossed upon our astrological house. Hope you are having a pleasant evening. All right, let's do this. So Irie's past is reverse queen of pentacles. So there definitely seems to be some sunken growth in the past going on. Um, maybe you were you're trying you were trying to figure out um, how you can grow as a VTuber, how you can grow your community, 
And some mon looks like some money has sunk in a little, but not as much. So it looks when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen is like wondering, looking longingly at the Pentacle there. And it looks like you have some curiosity going on in the past. You're trying to see what happens. Let's see what's going on. Reverse Two of Swords. Um, usually the Two of Swords. So the story is telling me that um, they are usually the Two of Swords. The person is a little uh, like, you know, being cautious, being a little trying to like, you know, watch out for like, people, you know, going out there and just, like, all the naysayers, all, like, the people, like, uh, all the wrongdoings, all the little downsides. People are trying to, uh, you know, put you down. You're trying to be on the defensive side. But it looks like now, um, now it doesn't, it doesn't seem like you're a little bit weary. You're a little more accepting. And, um, some swords, when it comes to swords, it's pretty quick. So it looks like you're a little quick. I usually tell personal stories when it comes to like reading cards for that matter. Um, and there's also the moon in the background. So, um, and we all know that the moon arcana represents uh, illusions, some dreams and like uh, fantasies. So it looks like you're uh, like the hesitation. You're not letting anything get to you anymore. You're just going out there. And you're just, uh, you're, you're just not afraid anymore. You're not as defensive as you, uh, as before. It looks like you're taking some nice steps here. All right. And last but not least, you've got a, in the future, you've got a reversal hierophant. So, um, hierophant, uh, usually represents some wisdom. Some, uh, people will, like, uh, encourage you, but it looks like, there might be a little bit of like, you know, some, a little concern. Um, in this case, since you're trying to aim for partner mid-July, you might not get it right away. And it might put, it's going to put you down a little at first, but you're not going to let that get to you. I think if you keep at it, then you will definitely get partner soon or maybe you'll be you'll be even further luck you might be you're gonna be you're gonna feel some worry you're gonna feel like um you're gonna feel a little scared at first on whether you'll get a partner by mid-july but if you don't get it right away then definitely then don't fret yet i think you will get that opportunity a lot sooner than you think and sometimes, um, if it doesn't work out, second is the best. <laughs> There's an old saying, first is the worst, second is the best. So, um, if you do, however, um, just don't let any, don't let anyone, like, you know, don't let what anyone say get to you. Just do it because you know you can do it. And you moved on, you already moved on from the past, you already moved on, you already put like the old you aside you're putting in a a new side of you that will t that will take you to further places it's already taking you to further places right now um and maybe some of the maybe there's some community that might uh walk away at first but i don't want to entirely say it's the real people because because we're all because a lot of people are going to support you no matter what. There's always going to be people coming and going. And at the end of the day, it's all about you as a content creator and it's all about you trying to, you know, develop a, a safe and happy community. So um so when it comes to overall, are you going to get partner in mid-July? It's a possibility, but just be ready if you don't get it right away and keep on going. That's really the best thing. Because usually Hierophant is like wisdom, represents like, you know, uh, some traditions. You might put, you might even put old traditions aside actually, and just create something new. <laughs> Your debut. <coughs> Thank you.
But yeah, um, hopefully that helps you out, Irie, or gives some insight. If you have any questions or any concerns, um, please let me know. Hello, Raycon. Thank you so much for the queue. You will be joined soon after Tarot. You got it all? Awesome. I'm so glad it helped out. Also, we will do a collab soon. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, come on. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere, Card. Where do you think you're going? All right. Next person is Taro. I know, I know, I know. We'll get the up. We'll, we'll, get, we'll plan it out. Don't worry. <laughs> It is Taro's turn. Hopefully, hopefully she's not in too much pain. <laughs> I would feel so bad if she missed it. All right, cool. You're curious about the dice, but cards are a classic. Yeah? Maybe someone will get the dice opportunity. Dice, um, dice basically gives you an idea of where you stand right now. Um, basically, like, um, like who you are, how you're doing on your life's perspective, as well as the house, and, um. Usually when it comes to, like, the Zodiac and Planets personalities, it kind of gives you some ideas in a way. Um, like, sometimes, like, for example, if I drew, if I did, like, a, uh, let's say, let me give you, if I do, a, like, a Neptune here, uh, if I can't see it right away, if I have a Neptune here, then, um, basically there's some artistic creativity going on, and, um, if, depending on the question, like, Will my arc succeed? Um, like, for example, or will I reach partner, for example? Um, Neptune, I roll the Neptune, there's some creativities. Um, maybe uh, I'll come up with that. It means, like, maybe I'll come up with some ideas or something like that. Um, and the house is, like, the 11th house. 11th house usually represents transformation. And last but not least, I'll do Aquarius as my zodiac. So, for that matter, if I were to roll these guys... Um, I'd say, like, I'm pretty confident with, uh, my creativity right now. Um, I'm a I, I think I'm doing the right thing, but I may face some, like, you know, some setbacks, but, um, I think I'm taking those right steps slowly but surely. That kind of thing. Um, whereas the classic cards, um, it just gives you, like, a classic spread. But, um, the only difference is, like, dice is a, is a little more basic than the cards are. That's basically it, honestly. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. Curious about the partner thing and work just kind of want an understanding since time is hard with everything going on. Choose whatever you think is best for that. Hmm. Let's see. For that sake, I'll give you cards. I'll give you the cards one, because it might be better for partner when it comes to like partnership and all that. Um I think you I think you know where you stand when it comes to creativity and all that stuff. Um cards will probably give you like a better insight compared to dice. Because dice basically gives you like it's more like an identity kind of thing. Alright. So let's give let's give Tarot the star spread. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can DM you the link of the, uh, like, the meanings of the houses, the planets, and all that sometime. Or probably, af probably after stream, as a matter of fact. I can definitely link you that, so that way it gives you, like, ideas. Uh, you too, Irie, if you're interested in that. Yeah, the dice are really, the dice are really nice.
if you already know, like, you know, like, uh, astrological houses, ideas, as well as, like, the, uh, the, the zodiac and the planets, then you have a pretty basic idea of it so far. It's just a matter of how to take advantage of it. Alright, so. We're gonna give past, present, and future in a way. But we're gonna use the star spread. Which is basically a, a basic Celtic spread. Alright, so. Let me do this really quick. All right, let's do this. Well, two of them are popping out. All right. But yeah, I can't imagine like the stress of getting trying to reach for push for partner. I know at some point John and I will experience that, but when the time comes, we'll know what to do. Hopefully. <laughs> but we are getting equipment. We're getting better, so. Anyway, so Ta Taro is wondering about the partner thing and work, and excuse me, she's basically wondering um, how to juggle through a, a partner and while maintaining more, oh, like a, a mental workspace at the same time. So I'm gonna do the star spread, which is something we will we will develop even more as we go on. Um, so middle of Taro is. Reversal, King of Cups. Interesting. So when it comes to the king, um, we all know that kings are represent authority, um, some confidence, um, very straightforward. But it looks like some reversal of King of Cups. So there might be a little bit of like a struggle, uh, like you know, of choices going on right now. And um, you're just trying to figure out how you can maintain that balance. So it's gun it's giving you an idea. So it's seeing that you're trying to come up with ideas right now on um, to take one take the next step. So the stream leads. Thank you so much for the follow. Tonight your stars crossed upon our astrological house. Next one is ten of wands upright. All right. So um, you're trying to like you're trying you're definitely trying to keep together. Of the things you've worked so hard with you're trying so hard to maintain that balance and all that creativity all that all that hard work um and you're just you're just really it looks like you're trying a little too hard right now that it might lead to some stress and let's see what the next step is an upright emperor not bad so um you're trying to you're trying to maintain that balance and it looks like you're going to be feeling a lot more confident, a lot more like, you know, you're, you, you know, you know your community best, um, and people will be understanding and you're going to have a pretty strong balance coming up. And as, as you get more and more into your work hours, you'll, you'll come to develop an idea of how you can, um, maintain your streaming and work at the same time, which is pretty much what John deals with right now at the same time, because he also works in the daytime, time, and, um, it's just all about maintaining that balance and, you know, just feeling a little bit on the comfortable side about it, but it looks like you're gonna be pretty confident on that. Um, no, the queue is not done, you can still join. All right, so... Next one is a, an, a Reversal High Priestess. Reversal High Priestess in reverse. Um, there's a bit of like a, there's a little bit of like intuition. So it looks like some hesitation on your intuition going on right now. But, um, so you have confidence. You're just not sure if it's the right step or not. Let's see what the last one is. Ooh. Reversal Ace of Cups. Um, there's gonna be, there's definitely gonna be some stress going on, um, in the next, possibly in the next couple of weeks. Um, so, um, like I said, the best idea right now is to just keep one, keep an eye out for your work schedule. You know, try to get more of the feel of it, especially when things are opening up again. And don't stress out too much. Uh, people will understand. 
and a lot of streamers are gonna be hitting that uh, are gonna be hitting that uh, a little a little wall rock on a wall uh, if that makes any sense basically you're gonna bash your head a bit um, but people will understand um, and will stay no matter what happens uh, as everything opens up again as, as we're all like you know going back to the real going back to the reality of our jobs and all that stuff yada 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 um and i think you'll be just honestly i think you'll be just fine honestly especially when you've built up such a good community such an understanding especially when you had you have so many people inspired by you people that adore you and like you know like appreciate all the work and everything you've done for people and i think um when you return to like uh, a regular streaming schedule while maintaining your work. I think people are going to help you out here and there. And people will understand. Um, and it's going to be a bit of like, you know, a little rocky right now. Especially, with, you know, partner thing. Uh, try to prioritize. Uh, try to prioritize your work for now. And and then you can... And then once you get like, a, like an idea of your schedule. Then you can take care of uh, partner. Um, so don't stress about, don't stress about partner right away, especially since you have a job and, um, just do what you, do what you gotta do. Also, if it kind of helps, like, I know John and I would do our best to like, you know, just give you a shout out, give you all the support and love we can. Um, but yeah, you're, you're a confident lady. You got this. <laughs> And if people tell you otherwise, just let me know and I'll beat them up for you. <laughs> you basically answered something I've been thinking I have been thinking about. I was too I was considering just canceling the push since I can't dedicate it to right now. So yeah, let it happen naturally if it does. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Focus on yourself for now, honestly. It's a it, Partner's gonna be there. Partner's always gonna be there when you when you return. Honestly, so don't stress out about these things. But at the same time, I think you'll get partner soon enough. And people are people are pretty understanding. But yeah, hopefully that helps you out, Taro, and I believe in you! Ah. Hello, Bunny Von Doom! Welcome, welcome, thank you so much for the cue! We will get to you as soon as possible! <laughs> Not a problem, Taro! Y'all love your cute face! <laughs> Seriously, give Taro some love. She deserves it. And she's helped out the community, so definitely give her some respect. Alright, so next person is... Let's see. Critical Raycon is next! Followed by the stream leads, Nera and Bunny Von Doom. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, thanks for shouting. Thanks for shouting out, Taro, uh, John. Appreciate it. All right, Raycon, what you got? Hey, Kate, thank you so much for the follow. Tonight, your stars crossed upon our astrological house. What have you got, Raycon? They're thinking, the thinking. What are they thinking? But 
But yeah, while we wait for, uh... Is my queue open? Yes, it is. All you have to do is use the join command. Thank you for the hydrate stream leads. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba -ba. Thinking about more creative or analytical with professional development as a marketing consultant. It's a lot of stuff to do with little time and lots of folks depend on me. Ooh, that's a good question. Sounds good. Oh, actually, I didn't know you could actually make that little advice thing. That's good to know. Thank you for that test, Kate. All right, did you want cards or the dice, uh, Raycon? I can do one, the other, both, but there are paths I can take, but skills said I must have. That's a real mood. <laughs> Cards? All right. Okay, so. So the cards it is. So we are going to be doing a past, present, or future for Raycon. But yeah, uh, we are going to be doing three spreads. All right. We're going to do one spread here. Oh, this one jumped out. All right. So we have... Oh, this one decides to be jumpy. No, don't be jumpy. Don't be jumpy cards, please. Don't be that jumpy, please. Do not be jumpy. I don't appreciate your jumpiness. This one decides to pop out. All right, so. Past, present, or future for Raycon. Let's see what he's got. Let us see what he's got. Don't worry, I'm fine. I did hydrate. <laughs> so, past. Another ten of wands. In the past, you are trying to maintain that. You're trying to maintain those skills. You are trying you're trying so hard to like hold on to the things you've learned to the communications you've had um or you're having right now um oh sorry she <laughs> thank you for letting me know okay this lovely lady forgive me all right so she is uh trying to maintain all the skills um as much as possible in the present i'll say i'll say i'll say they next time for just to be safe. Ooh, judgment. That's a strong card in the pre especially for a present one. So, judgment. It is unafraid. They are they are extremely unafraid to speak out their minds. They are huge balancers. They're not afraid to like you know uh, put down people, put down the wrong people that stand in their way they're not uh they are strong they are uh people are willing to listen to them they're basically almost like leaders uh almost and they are it, they're usually pretty strong this is a really strong card so um it looks like you are uh you're definitely on the right track right now in being uh being more analytical taking the right steps you know what's you you know what's best for um for your for your business as a marketing consultant you're you're not afraid to uh you're not afraid to take out those that are holding you back you and people respect you for it you're basically going to be a strong leader if you are if not already so in the future um Looks like you have a reversal, Seven of, of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is um, they basically, usually it represents some growth and some money, but uh, there's a little bit of something missing. Um, it looks like you might be holding, there might be something missing in that growth. Um, something that's like, uh, 
you know, there's something, it's like you're, in the future, you're gonna feel like something is missing from that business standpoint, and, uh, that, that little something could affect you, but, um, I think you're also going to figure out what that missing part is, especially with the judgment card drawn, um, so, there's gonna be a bit of, like, you know, something that's missing, but you're not sure what, but, um, soon you're going, but soon you're going to see what that missing piece of the puzzle is, um, and you're gonna, I think you're gonna create a strategy that will definitely, uh, bring success, bring a lot more op opening opportunities, and, I think people are going to hugely appreciate all your hard work, all your uh, dedication to helping, all your business savvy strategies, um, and there might be there might be some ups and downs on money a little bit, but um, it's more like you know it's more like one of those opportunities where you know the risks you're willing to take, but if it's gonna like you know further uh, your career your opportunities as a marketing consultant. Sometimes taking sacrifices is the best thing to do for you. Um, but you definitely, but you definitely have that confidence. And like I said, you're not, a you're not afraid of whatever, th whatever punches are thrown at you. Um, so the best advice is like, um, absolutely absolutely keep tackling uh the creativity definitely develop those skills a little more because right now you're in the right track but yeah that's a uh, judgment is a pretty good card and it's also like the judgment card is one card away from the world which is, I've yet to ever draw uh, the world arcana um, on anyone. And if that's the, if, if I draw a world, I'm going to be super impressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like it, Raycon. <laughs> but yeah, keep, keep at it. I believe in you. Gambate. All right. All right, so, without further ado, all right, so the next person is, let's see, the stream leads is next up. Not a problem, I'm glad that, I'm glad that helped out. The stream leads, it is time for you to shine. All right, what do we got? Let's see. My name is Alondra. I am mentally exhausted and I want to manifest a mentor into my life who can help me out. How much can I manifest this without putting so much emphasis on the situation? If that makes sense, please. I try to live in the present moment and not so co be so codependent. I'm just really having a hard time feeling so drained. I have been trying to spend more time in nature and being mindful. Wow, that's a huge mood right there. <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely prepared. <laughs> but that's also a big mood right there. All right. Uh, did you want cards or dice? Does my lovely Alondra want the cards or dice? Appa. Hey, it's Captain Krabs raiding with a party of 38. Thank you so much, Krabs. Welcome, welcome. Can we give a shout out to Captain Krabs? <laughs> Those of you who joined, uh, my name is Jazz. I'm one half of Starcrossed, and we're doing terror reading. Yay, yay! Cards, please. Awesome. Don't worry, we got you. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the rigging went out tonight. Went out well tonight. Definitely check out Captain Krabs. He is awesome. He is doing some rigging. He's recently doing rigging commissions. And he is also family friendly. And he is a cute crab. Check him out. He is awesome. 
That's good. Good, good. All right. So right now we are currently accepting uh, the queue. If you want to join for a tarot reading session, please use our join queue. We are currently helping the stream. Sorry, <laughs> the stream leads, aka Alondra. We are helping Alondra right now. So we are gonna do a past, present, and future, and we are trying. We're gonna help them out, and we're gonna tell the story. So, but yeah, once again, thank you so much again for the raid. Enjoy your story, stay in the stream, and let's have some fun. All right, so we're working on Alondra. And then we are going to do, oh, this one popped out nicely. Holy cow. All right, so we are gonna work, uh, we're gonna tell a story and we will do as best as we can. Captain Krabs Yoga Club is one more graduate. Nice, nice. Congratulations, welcome to the yoga club. They're really relaxing, I would recommend it. <laughs> All right, so let's look at Alundra. All right, you have a upper seven of swords. Mistress of all evil, thank you so much for the follow. Tonight your stars crossed them on our astrological house and hello, soft goddess. All right, so, um, so the seven of swords usually represents some quick. So in the past, um, you have uh, taken advantage of the opportunities provided and um, you are trying the best you can or maybe there was someone that, you know, that's giving you a hard time in the past and they're basically like, you know, stealing your opportunities and it's a little bit like, you know, very stressful. <laughs> little to very stressful. And that was in the past. Let's see what the present brings. Um, you have a reversal page of wands. So the page of wands, um, usually when it comes to that, um, they usually come up with new ideas, um, new opportunities, new, uh, measure, new measures. Mm -hmm. Both scenarios resonate. Nice, nice. All right. So usually when it comes to wands, uh, it represents creativity. They're wondering, they're looking at like, you know, they're trying to look at, uh, look for ideas, renewal, inspiration, but it looks like you're currently a little bit of a block, which is which, which is uh, responding to that question. Let's see what the future holds. Nice! So, in the future, you've got a Knight of Swords upright. So, so in the future, the Knight of Swords is very quick, which means it's gonna, which means it'll probably happen soon. Um, when it comes to the Knight of Swords, they are very chivalrous. They are they're going to take things head on. They're looking out for the future, and um, you de you will uh, develop uh, some confidence, some opportunities coming at you. You are gonna go after uh, people who have wronged you, or maybe there is uh, there's something even better coming at it, and you're going to take that up, take advantage of it. Um, there's also the there's also a big advice where uh, karma is <laughs> you get you get what I mean. <laughs> Karma's a real bitch <laughs> in the end. So um, whoever was taking taking your opportunities, you're gonna find something even better, and you are going to you're going to overcome it. And I think you are going. I think you're on the right track right now. And you are, uh, I know you're feeling drained right now, but you are, uh, you're definitely gonna definitely take things uh, one step at a time and look out for the, look out for that opportunity coming at you and you definitely, and someone will come out, you will definitely have like, you know, uh, a mentor or maybe you'll find yourself, uh, a mentor in yourself as well. But sometimes the best mentor, um, is you and sometimes there are some things where you just have to take matters into your own hands so yeah um i know i know i know how you feel when it comes to stress because i deal with that a lot of the time but um take advantage of like the opportunities you have now 
and transform them into something even bigger. But yeah, um, staying positive. There's nothing wrong with staying positive, but at the same time, uh, don't think too positive about it. Don't stay positive. Um, if there's like a weak moment, um, just take the time to reflect. Take the time to, you know, like, um, let it all out. And just, you know, think about the steps you know what to do. Because only you know yourself the best. And uh, you do what you gotta do. Uh, don't let others stop you. But yeah, I just need this fo self focus and self love. Yes, yes, self love is always best. And I'm glad that helped you out. <laughs> you got this. We believe in you. <laughs> All the loves for the stream leaves. AKA Alundra. Give her lots of love. Alright, so. The next step is. Next person is Nera. Nera is the next person. Followed by Bunny Von Doom, then Petty Kate and Soft Goddess. Alright, so. What you got, Nera? You are well loved. In this house, we support each other. In this astrological house, or rather. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Since this one's like an extended version, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Soft Goddess, thank you so much for the follow. Tonight, your stars cross upon our astrological house. Mostly a TLDR. I've been having a lot of issues with people questioning, not respecting my decisions lately. I've been just been trying to methods on dealing with that. I'm just clueless on it. That's also a mood, actually. Alright. Do you want cards or dice? Which one do you want? Alright, what we got, Nara? What we got? Take cards? Okay. Alright. So. Nara is basically wondering how to deal with, uh, how to deal with people not respecting his decisions. Alright. So. Let's see. You love my VTuber avatar? Thank you so much! Uh, my husband John is the one that made both mine and his avatars. If you love this one... Oh, what's John gonna be saying? Yeah, definitely stay tuned for the future. We might have something special coming soon. Alright, so we're gonna look at Nara. Uh, we're gonna give you the star spread as well. So let's give Nara the star spread. So it's some. It'll be fun to like, you know, create a star cross spread. You know what? Maybe that's maybe that's what I'll do in my future. Maybe I'll create a spread. I think that'll be fun. And I think I have I'm developing enough skills to like, you know, create a spread. Alright, so we have that. All right, so, oh, this one's jumpy. So we're gonna give Nara the star spread, AKA like, you know, the basic Celtic cross, basically. All right, so here is Nara's spread. Let me make it nice and like, you know, a little more straightforward so that you could see nice and clear as best as, as best to the ability. All right, so. Let's take a look at Nera. So right now in the middle is, ooh, a bit of reverse chariot. So right now, usually the chariot represents a uh, victorious victory, a little bit more like, you know, uh, like, you know, like fight, like a fighter, a little bit of a fighter, yet they're like, uh, 
they're a little more like you know confidence basically that just means like you know facing victory and just you know uh being positive but in a more like you know uh in a collective matter compared to strength however because it's um it's because it's reversal you're facing some defeats in battle right now and you um you're just trying to you know try to strategize what you can do better and it looks like you've got a reversal ace of swords so it looks like um some things aren't working out well so far um a little bit of like you know a little bit of a rut when it comes to like you know communication um and people you're just facing a little bit more disappointments as time goes on all right and the next one is um eight of cups so it's a little bit of like you know uh you know wondering the person is like like wandering looking at the moon actually and we all know moon represents illusions and such um so when it comes to the uh, upper eight of cups um it represents like a little bit of like emotional illusions a little bit of like you know uh it's more like a questioning yourself like is it just me that i need to fix or do i need to let some things go uh in that matter and let's see what else we can get next nine of cards upright so you're just like you know maintaining your emotions like you know you're just sitting there trying to think what's the best step and last but not least a ten of cups on reverse so the ten of cups reverse usually it represents like family community um a little bit of rainbows and emotions like happy moments but it looks like there's some cloudy chances <laughs> not cloudy chance with a chance of meatballs please <laughs> Um, a little bit of rain clouds going on right now, and emotional, and you're just a little stressed out. Um, and you're just like, you know, like I said, you're just wondering, like, is it just you, or do I need to let some things go, or do I just, you know, not let things get to me? Even though the movie was good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the best thing to do is, um, the best thing to do is reflect upon what you're doing right now is it helping you if it's not then try to build the steps on how to like you know uh take a stand for yourself um show more confidence show like believing yourself um try to come up with a new strategy take some time off if you need to um you know just like you know take some time away um, think about, uh, the ifs, ands, or buts, and once you, like, basically just take some time to relax, like, maybe do some, like, uh, listen to some music, or treat yourself, treat yourself a little something, um, maybe do some venting art, actually, and, um, basically when you, and get some rest, you know, basically take some time for yourself, and once you come back, um, you'll be more rejuvenated, you're gonna be a little more confident, and you're not gonna let anyone get to you, and you under you will understand the steps to take um, in order not to let anyone step on you, basically. So once you take that step, you will have an upper chariot of victory right there. So yeah. So the most important thing is focus on let's see focus on this one this one is the most important thing to think about because um when it comes like i said the moon you'll get some thoughts and when you're thinking a lot you're gonna feel you're gonna feel a lot more de a lot more depressed or feeling a little more stressed than you are right now um so definitely see see the strengths and weaknesses um and yeah, and it usually takes like, um, it usually takes like uh, at least a couple of weeks to a month's tops around there when it comes to cups. Um, it doesn't take that long, but I think you'll be just fine as long as you like, you know, give yourself some space. 
Yeah, yeah. Don't overthink. It's not good. I say that to myself as well. <laughs> Yeah, um, hopefully that helps out, Nera. If you have any questions, please let me know. Other than that, um, we will move on to Bunny Von Doom. I will go ahead and give that ping just in case. Not a prop, Nera. You got this. In the meantime, Bunny Von Doom is next. Do I do readings on dreams? Um, I can, I certainly can give it a shot. It'll, it would be the first reading, but I would be absolutely be interested in getting through that. Good song, fitting song for this too. <laughs> but yeah, um, we will absolutely go for it, bunny. What is your question regarding dreams? A heads up to Petty Kate, you will be next after Bunny. Followed by Soft Goddess. I had, about a dream, I had a dream about this new guy that came into my life. I saw a lotus flower. I don't trust him or men because of my experiences. Okay. Past experiences. Alright, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> you want cards or dice, for that matter? Cards? Yeah, we don't do much uh, dream interpretation, but there's always a first time. Let's dig in. Nier is great. Um, if you do like Nier, we are doing a Nier stream on Friday at 8pm PST. If you want to avoid spoilers, however, I totally understand. But yeah, Nier is great. <laughs> Would recommend 10 out of 10. Alright, so. But yeah, I love Kaine. She's great. Alright, so. We're gonna do past, present, and future for you. Since that seems to be the best, the best suitable thread for you. Oh, this one jumped out. Alright, so let's get that future card out and then we will get started with the reading. And it looks like this one's popping out a little. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right, so we're gonna go over the past, present, and future for Bunny Von Doom. I love that name, by the way. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, so the past is the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands um, represents creativity, a little bit of energy going on, and usually it's like some passion. So it looks like when it comes to the Two of Wands, the person is looking at an orb. Is it a pentacle or is it the world? It is looking at some things, right? It is looking at something and then it's looking like outside afterwards, wondering um, what the next, what's the step to take or um, if something is holding you back or is some, there's basically some questions going on like, will this work out or what can we do? And then the present, an upright ace of wands. It looks like um, when it comes to dreams, it looks like there's a lot of creativity going on and some energy. 
Um, Ace of Wands usually represents a very good thing, a very good creativity. You've got um, you've got some skills going on. You've got a bit of like you got a bit of like good energy in you right now, and looks like so far so good when it comes to energy. You got some positive energies coming at you. And last but not least, what's the future look like? Oh, nice! You got a sun! In this, okay, so the sun upright. You have upright joy and harmony. So it looks like um, since someone came into your life, you saw a lotus flower. Uh, you can't trust him or men because they were past experiences. Um, relationships are uh, always like a scary thing to think about, especially when it's a first time approaching them. Uh, let alone like past experiences, but it looks like there's some good happening from that <laughs> Also him being attracted <laughs> Well, I mean the Sun represents some harmony and positivity But because of your because you've mentioned that you have some past experiences um, I'd say I'd say give him a bit of a chance like you can start slowly But surely especially when it comes to wands wands is a little bit slow So it usually takes some time to develop like some good energy good vibes um, Basically, you know, just hang out or like just be his friends honestly and then just like, you know Or more importantly let them know that if they're looking into a relationship just say like You're not ready for it yet You'd rather like you know give you'd rather give uh, give it a chance. Also, thank you so much for the bit twenty one bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, um, take things one step at a time. You know, just you know get to know them, develop, uh, and I think in the near future you'll have some you'll have some good good relationships going on. I think this might this might this could be a this could be. You know, a happy ending coming up, or a good, en some good vibes coming soon for you. Um, but yeah, uh, and almost importantly, absolutely give yourself some love and happiness, first and foremost. And if you're happy with this person, then absolutely go for it. Otherwise, make sure they understand that you want to take things one step at a time. But yeah, um, if you have any questions, Bunny, uh, feel free to ask right away or if there's like, you know, anything you want to go a little bit more into detail. But it looks like you've got some positive uh, energy going on with the sun. And the sun's usually a pretty good card. Because the sun represents like, you know, happiness, harmony, some hope, some nice sunflowers. And who knows? Maybe this maybe this person will be very understanding. I do tarot. Yes, I do. We are doing a tarot reading session right now. If you are interested in a reading, then feel free to use the join queue. No questions? Alrighty, ready? Thank you so much for the follow. Tonight, your stars cross upon our astrological house. But yeah, um. As usual, uh, for her chat, give Bunny Von Doom some love. Give her some, give her some love and good vibes. <laughs> All right, so we got that going on. The next person is Kate, and she is asking for relationship advice. So, do you- did you want cards or dice? I got your advice here. Ba 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 ba. Alright. Does Kate want cards or dice? My question is for some advice about my relationship with my boyfriend. We live together. I am unsure whether to stay or not. And if I stay, what do we need to do to improve our relationship? He is stubborn and defensive of fights, even if he is wrong, and it's putting me off. Ooh, that's a pretty strong one. Not a problem. Cards, cards. We will give you the love star spread. 
All right, sounds good. A heads up to Soft Goddess, you are right after Kate. We are currently doing a reading on Petty Kate. All right, let's see what we can do. All right. Also, if you guys enjoy our tarot reading monthly sessions, we usually do them uh, on every first week of the month. You can also, you're all also more than welcome to join our Discord server. We do have like a tarot reading section, astrology, and astronomy going on right now. And if anyone can link our Discord, that would be great. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I love my boys. Well, this one decided to like jump out. Okay. Okay, card. You decide to jump out. That's good fine by me. But yeah. Uh... Alright. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Alright. Let's do a bit of like an interesting shuffle. Alright. Oh, this one decides to pop out. And hopefully you all the rest of you are having a pleasant evening. If you haven't gotten a chance yet or uh you are curious, you are more than welcome to join in the queue. There's still some opportunities before we call it a night in the stream. There's still some time left. So friendly reminder, if you want to do it, it is one reading per non or VTuber. All right, so this one decides to like, oh, interesting. This one decides to not come out. Oh, this one decides to come out. Right when I said that. <laughs> All right. All right, so Petty Kate is basically looking for relationship advice, and we are using the Love Star Tarot spread. So let's look at the state of relationship right now. You love the channel name and art is super cute. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Both my husband and I have created all of the outlay overlays, all that stuff, and my husband is known as John Fox. So if you enjoy our stuff. Yee yee. All right, so the first step is the state of relationship right now is the Five of Swords. You are facing a battle right now, and you're a little bit uh, you're a little bit on your defensive side, uh, for that matter, all for the good reasons. But um, there's a little bit of a battle you're trying to face off, like some um, some battles between your relationship. So it's looking at, so it sees your state of relationship right now. Let's see what their needs is. That's, this is their needs right now. They have the reversal Ten of Swords. So a little bit on the quick side, usually the Ten of Swords, um, there's a little bit of like, you know, uh, they're a bit stabbed. They're like, you know, there's a lot of things that are like heavy upon them. Um, maybe they're facing some struggles going on or maybe some insecurities or and they're they're starting to you know try to overcome it and let's take a look at you you your needs is the uh, page of cups so right now they're looking for a bit of understanding you are looking for like you know uh, emotional consideration so when it comes to the page of cups um, they're looking at a fish. They're looking at them a little bit, you know. They're a little bit like, you know, looking at the fish and like, hey, you better stop doing this. <laughs> so when it comes to like, you know, uh, when it, when you think of fish, you think of like Pisces, which usually represents uh, some like, you know, creativity, a bit of like, you know, a bit of like what it's the element itself is water, which is a lot of emotions. So you're basically looking for emotional consideration he is looking for understanding and let's see what we can do here 
So right now, we are looking at, so when we're doing here is we're looking at an upright six of wands, which six of wands usually represents celebration, harmony. Um, so what it's saying right now is that there's a little bit of a nice little reef on the, on your, on your energy, on the wands. Wands usually represents energy. It does take some time, but not that much time. So right now, um, so far the advice is giving you like, once the both of you understand, uh, what was needed and, uh, you know, just basically talk it out. Uh, obviously, you know, just down to earth conversations. Don't try to like, you know, point fingers at each other. Don't blame each other. Just, you know, just try to be like, you know, stay calm. Just talk about the things that you want to work on. Um, Cause right now, especially when you're trying to like, you know, develop uh, a healthy relationship. A healthy relationship is very important. Um, so right now, um, potential outcome. Uh, potential outcome, you might see some emotional downsides because uh, authority, emotional authorities is like, you know, a little bit, um, is usually a strong thing. So there might still be a little bit of like, you know, ups and downs within your uh, conversation, especially when it comes to like, you know, like who's right and who's wrong. But the best advice right now is just, you know, it's not a matter of who's right and wrong. It's not a competition. And that's also something that both John and I also, you know, try to understand each and every day ourselves because we also face similar struggles, especially when it comes to like, you know, living together. Um, but right now, um, the best advice is like communication. That's the biggest importance right now. You're like, hey, I just, I just want to talk. Let's just, you know, try to come up with an understanding, find some ways to, you know, um, don't, don't say like, you know, like, don't do like big conclusions like I want to move out or because that's gonna that's probably gonna bring some defensiveness going on. Don't bring an ultimatum. Don't do it yet. Um, just do it as a rather like you know uh, a last. Just do it as like a worst case scenario result. Don't do it as like a like you know uh, an impulsive thing because um, uh, time heals and. Things will, things usually try to improve in due time. The number one thing is just try to understand what both of you need. Uh, understand like his struggles and the like, you know, some struggles and some, you know, some stress. But in return, he's also got to understand your emotional needs as well as like, you know, some growth going on. Like he needs to understand that you're trying, you're trying to like, you know, understand him. You're trying to develop the relationship. But if he's going to stress you out, then worst case scenario, it's not going to be worth it. So. But yeah, um, best advice is just number one. Number one advice is just communication. Um, yeah, I am bad with impulses, unfortunately, when I'm emotionally heightened. Yeah, emotional emotions are pretty are pretty finicky sometimes. Um, I know I deal with I deal with emotional stress at times, too. So I do understand where you're coming from on a personal rate, but yeah, um, I think you guys, I think you guys are going to be taking like, you know, like step one, step two, step three, and just like, you know, look at, look at the, uh, look at the crossbow. Basically one side is like, Hey, if, if you're willing to put up with me, then I'll, I'll, I will do my best to like, you know, put up with you, understand you better. I will try to, you know. I will try to communicate better if you communicate with me. So basically just do like some kind of equivalent in exchange, like an e like an even even <laughs> kind of thing. Um, and you will definitely have some you will definitely have some like uh, some balance going on. Um, you know, because obviously we're not going to have like a perfect relationship. Relationships are always going to have like, you know, ups and downs, um, some good and bad. Um, it's rough because he goes away for work for three months, but might do us some good. Yeah, sometimes some space would, it's kind of hard because some, because of the current times right now. And, um, sometimes some space, some time and space will, you know, do some good. Um, but the number one thing is as long as you like, you know, try to understand each other 
and just, you know, take, take things one step at a time, then I think things will be just okay. Um, so yeah, just, uh, don't think of worst case scenarios right away. Just try to give things a chance. And if, and if things aren't given a chance, then you, you know what you have to do. At the end of the day, um, it's basically what's best for you and what's best for him. Because if you're not happy, then what's the point, you know? Yeah, um, hopefully that helps out a little. If you have any, any more questions, then feel free to ask. You are absolutely open for questions. Thank you so much, I highly appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no problem! Get some love to, pre to Petty Kate, please. But yeah, um, with that, further ado, thank you so much for the hydrate. I will hydrate momentarily as soon as I call upon Soft Goddess. So Soft Goddess is next, followed by Green E Crayon. All right. All right, thank you so much for the hydrate. So while we wait for Soft Goddess, hello, hello. You want cards or dice? And what is your question? Green is just green with flair. Fair enough. I will say green. <laughs> you know what? That's that's fair. That is perfectly fair. Ba 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 ba. Da, da, da. Also, if you're in our Discord server and you have like, you know, some songs that inspire like tarot reading ideas for the future, feel free to throw them into the Discord. I would highly appreciate it. I'm currently creating a playlist for tarot reading. General reading with dice. Absolutely. We can absolutely do that. All right, so we got dice. Nice. So what is your question? And we will, I will do my best to do a nice dice reading for you. I don't mind dice. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine with what you really want. The option is always there for everybody. In fact, this is a perfect opportunity for everybody else to check out what the dice are like, too. So what is your question? So just so everyone knows, as Soft Goddess is uh, creating a question. Um, so the point of uh, dice represents the where you are currently and where what position, where, what posi blah. English, what position, where you're at. <laughs> um, where you're at, uh, the zodiac signs is how you're doing, and the planets are who you are. Yeah, we used to do both, but uh, because it takes a little bit of time, we try to do like either or to make things easier and give everybody a chance. Especially since like, you know, um, because we stream late and people are coming in from the East Coast especially and it's super later and they're waiting in the queue. Um, it just isn't fair for them. So that's why we're doing either or that way everybody gets a chance. I want it to revolve around my mental health and how I'm doing. All right, sounds good. All right. Yeah, uh, that's exactly why. Like, I don't want it to be, like, you know, too late for everybody else. Alright, so Soft Goddess wants a dice. You've been really down and out, out lately, so I wanted to see what's going on. Alright, sounds a Gucci. So, here we go. Here we go. Alright, so, right now, first one is... Let me see if I can do this right, because this is, like, you know... There we go. Five of house is the, the fifth house is the first house you have drawn where you're at right now. So 
you are focusing on um, creativity, represents creativity, rain, water, teaching, hobbies, some romance. It also talks about women, children, and fun. So right now, um, where you're at right now is um, there's some creativities. Um, you've been feeling really down. Maybe there's some creative blocks that's happening lately for you. and Or maybe there's not enough people like, you know, keeping an eye out for you. And it's just, you know, it's starting to get to you. And when it comes to like water element, water represents emotions. Um, so it usually represents that. So that's where you're standing. That is your that is your house right now. Um, next one is the next one is the zodiac. Um, how you're doing? You have Leo. So Leo represents some well, some confidence, um, pride, some leadership. Um, so maybe um, you're confident. You're very confident. Are, you're trying to be as confident as you can, but um, as the days go by, things are starting to like, you know, starting to like slow down a bit. Or maybe there's like, uh, maybe there's like one of those moments where uh, people are focusing on like school exams. If you're a streamer, then maybe this is like a lull time. And by lull, I mean like uh, L-U-L-L, -L, like a sleepy time. Uh, where people are focusing on um, some things right now and you're just like you're at that moment where uh, you're wondering is it is it because of me that no one's approaching or am I doing something wrong it is absolutely not um, and last but not least um, who you are is you drew mercury mercury represents intelligence uh, represents the mind reason so um, it is telling you that you are very intelligent. You are very like, you know, uh, you are open to communication. Um, you are understanding you, at least at the very least, you try to be understanding. Um, but sometimes, um, you're afraid some people just don't understand you. Um, especially since you're working so hard on the things you do. <laughs> And you're just, you know, there's just one of those moments where you really, you just want people to understand you, but you're also afraid of like speaking out because you're worried that you're, tr you're just bringing up, you're just attracting atten unnecessary attention or maybe unneeded attention that you're not looking for. Um, so, so for that matter, um, you are, so right now, you're very kind, you're very understanding, you're very creative with what you're very passionate of what you do. Um, and you're very and you're confident about it as well. You're just sometimes worried that some people uh, are like looking away from you or think or, wor or worse think you're boring or maybe you're like uh, thinking that uh, you're not doing enough. Um, if you're an artist especially, um, there are some stress, maybe some people are like, you know, you know, one of those people that are coming here for like, oh, I'm here for like free art giveaways and I didn't get any, so I'm unfollowing or that kind of thing. I think some artists can probably relate. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so the best thing you do is, um, honestly, you're doing, you're doing just fine right now. <laughs> You're doing just fine. It's just one of those like moments where um, <laughs> I'm seeing all these artists like, why you why you gotta do this to me? Why you call me out like that? <laughs> you have a jewelry shop as well. Ooh, nice, nice. I'm definitely curious to see your jewelry shop. But yeah, maybe it's just one of those moments. It's definitely one of those moments where. Um, People are like, you know, focusing on some stuff like exams or focusing on work or like, you know, it's just like a slow time right now. But I think when mostly like Mother's Day or summer vacation, summer vacation or even Mother's Day, when that hits, um, I think you're going to have a pretty good, like, you know, pretty good opportunities. Take advantage of like, you know, the special occasions or like, or like big mo promotion, promotional moments that come by. And, um, this, you know, 
try not to let things get to you, especially when, you know, uh, small businesses especially are going to be pretty slow due to, like, current times and when they, and considering things are reopening again. Um, but yeah, um, don't stress out, yeah, just don't stress out too much about it. Um, you know, just, uh, even keep developing your skills. Like, maybe there's something new that even you haven't seen yet or haven't, like, you know, then you haven't realized that you had this whole time. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you have an Etsy, um, feel free, you know what, feel free to share it, actually. Feel free to share that. Um, if, if, if you're not feeling comfortable, then feel free to join our Discord. You have plenty of options. And also, the most important thing is that the fact that you're getting yourself out there, especially with the stream alone, um, you're basically turning some heads in a good way. And people are interested. So be sure, uh, def definitely advertise. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that would love to see it. I'm personally interested, honestly. But yeah, you have the option of either, like, you know, you can share it here, or you can share it on our Discord if you're, you know, if you're a little like, wary. I totally understand either way. Alright, let's check that up. Ooh, that's really cute. Currently checking that out right now for a bit. And as I, I will decide, I will get Green Canyon. So Green Canyon, Crayon. I don't know why I said Canyon. I am an idiot. <laughs> Look, man, it's been a long night. Don't call me out. Uh... <laughs> Green Crayon. I did fuck up. <laughs> Look, to be fair, it's been a night, okay? <laughs> Laurel has seen it. Oh. Cards? All right. We're going for cards. And what is your question? But yeah, um, Salt Goddess, that, these are definitely adorable items. Um, it's totally up to do. It's totally up to you, but please feel free to join our Discord and please uh, promote your shop. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in the Discord that would love to see it, because this is really adorable. Please do. <laughs> Alright, so... Green Crayon wants cards. Um, so what you do is, um, you just basically ask whatever question you want. And if you want, since you want cards, just ask what you want. Uh, whatever you want to know, whatever, like, you know, what you're curious about. It can be anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do I do? I just... <laughs> Alrighty. I wasn't entirely sure. Okay. Alright, so. What do I do? A general question. Alright. So we're going to do a uh, past, present, and future for you. So we are going to do that. All right. So. All right. So we got, oh, this one's popping out. All right. Um, just a heads up to everybody. Uh, green crayon is the, currently the last one in the queue. If there's not any, this is your final chance to join in now while you still can, because as soon as I finish uh, green's reading, we will close the queue. So I'm giving a heads up right now. So that will be your warning. All right. I can call a crayon? All right. Oh, this one decides to pop out. Sounds good. I will keep that in mind. Oh, 
All right, so oh, and this one's popping. All right. All right, crayon. Let's go over the past, present, and future. <laughs> the cards have been popping all night. They're they're very very ha they're very excited. We are the goofy duel in Among Us. That sounds like fun, actually. All right, in the past. Oh wow, the fool. We got the fool mage arcana. That's actually one of the first rare opportunities that I've drawn the fool. All right, so in the past, you are creating new beginnings. And you are looking forward to a new adventure, um, but be but someone has given you a bit of awareness of you know just be careful with what you do. Try not to you know like d try not to show too much confidence. Try not to be too negative, otherwise you will be falling upon that cliff. But it looks like you are you are getting your head your head up. You got some you got a nice sun shining for you. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So in the present right now, you have the eight of wands upright. In the present, um, you are usually that creates some energy, some creativity. Um, this one's a little bit like facing off, but instead of like facing off. It looks like they're trying to, they're struggling a little. Um, so the best advice for that matter in the present is um, to currently uh, take a step back in that, uh, in what you're planning to do um, before it gets a little bit, uh, before it gets a little bit more on the rocky side of things. Um, so definitely take some step back, be careful. And in the future, as an upright temperance. So upright temperance usually represents uh, massive patience, creativity, ambition, emotional, like, you know, confidence, some like, you know, calmness. Um, so in the future, you are going to be having some good vibes in your creativity. Your emotions is gonna come off pretty good. Um, and it's, and it was a definitely, it'll definitely be a good thing if you, um, if you see something that's like, you know, a little bit on the rocky side, take a step back while you still can. Um, or like if someone's trying to get in the way, just like, you know, just back aside, don't like, like, just let them do their thing and you do your thing. So basically like, uh, you're basically saying to whoever, like you do you. Or, or um, if you are doing something creative, for that matter, um, you are going into the right track by taking that step back, starting your starting your chapter, and you are going to have uh, you are going to be seeing some success and some emotional patience and confidence in yourself. So basically, you're showing like you know, you're just you know you're just chill. You're very chill. You're very, uh, you know, intuitive, and and yeah, I think that's. I think this is a pretty decent read here. Um, you're starting off your journey. Um, you see something that you're not liking, so you're gonna take a step back and just plan out some new things, and then you're going to be having a pretty good result here. She is always chilling among us. That's always clever, especially if you're an imposter. I can never be chill. She got to affiliate? Nice! Congratulations! Yeah. Um, that's definitely a good thing. This is a pretty good read here. Um, hopefully this helps out, Crayon. Or if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. Papa. Bye -bye. 
Side note, I looked at my followers today and had to laugh like a 13-year-old boy because it's 69. Nice. <laughs> nice. But with Phoenix Rise, no chill. I mean, hey, it, it brings entertainment and content. I mean, hey, she's creating content. She's getting that entertainment going on. That's a good thing. Keep at it, please. <laughs> we definitely need more people like that. But yeah. If there is... You have not seen how rage she gets? You haven't seen how much rage I get in most raids, then. <laughs> At least I try not to. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so, yeah, um, if there's, if there's no one else that wants to join, I will go ahead and close the queue. I still don't know what to do, that was fun. Um... So what to do is just keep at it, honestly. That's the... Honestly, just keep keep doing what you're doing. You're doing just fine. Like, keep up... If you like streaming, keep up with it. Because you're gonna have... You're gonna have a pretty good potential of, like, you know... Some entertaining streams going on. <laughs> if you were terrified of me raging in Constellations, then I did a good job in acting. But yeah, um, if that's pretty much it, I will go ahead and close the queue. So, that will be it for now. Bye.